Earlier, our Washington correspondent Jessica Stone spoke to us about the timing of a disagreement. The Russians have been uh, very active in the air supporting uh, the Assad government, and that has really changed the military calculus on the ground. And you, you saw uh, the Americans sort of uh, kind of taken aback and the coalition taken aback at the progress that's been made and uh, that, that essentially the progress they were making has been rolled back. Uh, so there's a really uh, big calculus change with the uh, actions of the Russians, which of course began in September. And then you've got, of course, what all of Europe is dealing with, uh, nearly a million million refugees uh, now in Europe and uh, the flow is not stopping. You've got countries like Germany and Sweden threatening to, to now actually close their borders when they've been so supportive of accepting refugees um, because they're just simply overwhelmed uh, and a number of other countries uh, contemplating the same thing. Uh, so uh, just a lot of that pressure uh, from the European allies on the Americans to get to this negotiation. Uh, the Arab allies and Arab nations uh, really wanted a deal. This is a very destabilizing uh, situation uh, on their borders and in their region. And uh, the Russians and the Iranians very active in getting uh, the Assad uh, government to um, hopefully go along with this deal. Now, they do have to get the approval of the Syrian government and the Syrian opposition before this can go into effect. And there are a number of things that have to take place over the next week, including uh, looking at how this uh, cessation of hostilities would be enforced, uh, whether or not this carve out for terrorist groups that are specifically named Daesh and al uh, Jabhat al Nusra will be exceptions to the ceasefire, but there is no exception to the Russian bombing and there is no ex ex exception to the coalition bombing against uh, terror groups. And so uh, there will still be some military activity going on. The question is, uh, how will they protect the humanitarian aid getting to where it needs to go, places like Medea uh, that have been just um, bombarded and have been starving because they've been under siege. How will all of this come together? And all of that has to be worked out in just the next five or six days.